I, I'd say I, I meditate just through going on walks. I'm like a, I'm like a, a moving, a person that needs to move all the time. But I guess when you do your paintings, that's also kind of a meditative state. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. It's probably why I do it. My son has ADHD, and when they started saying that, I totally recognized myself in that. And I was like, oh, but I have ADHD. I mean, yeah. my son, I definitely <laughs> have it, you know, because if I'm, if I'm not filming, if I'm not editing, I'm on the, I'm on the move, you know. Yeah, and I'm the same way. But when he's drawing, then he can sit for hours. Yeah. But in school, no way. When these kids get out of school, then they're going to, you know, they already have their own language, and then they're going to have to figure it out. Then why not just like celebrate their uniqueness all the way through so that they don't have um, uh, low self esteem or, um, yeah, complications from the way they were um, put down. For, for their uniquenesses, because not everybody can can roll with these systems. I yeah, I was the same way as, as you. It sounds like, and when when you're younger, and it sounds like the way your son is now. Yeah, I, I was actually kicked out of everything. I mean, I would I was not. I mean, I was I guess what you would call it, troublemaker. I was in the office a lot because I didn't. I just couldn't couldn't hang with that dynamic. You know, I think, um, you know, I, I know like a lot of people from the graffiti world, not a ton, but I know a lot of people from the, like, the Bay Area and New York and stuff. We probably have like some friends in common. Yeah. But you know, San Francisco, from that time period, from the 90s, I think everybody that was doing art back then, we were, um, there's just like this loose, really good friendships that are more from just being in the same neighborhood. And I, I really care about all the people from that time period. It's pretty cool, you know, whenever anything hectic happens or whatever, if there's a benefit, I mean, it's just like so many people, like thousands of people um, that I know from that time period in that loose family. But whenever like something hectic happens, it's really amazing how many people give art for an art auction or um, kick down money for, you know, a fund for somebody's kid if, if they die or whatever. It's pretty cool. I'm impressed by the community that, that we made from that time period. Learned, really learned a lot about um, community from that time period. There's a mythology about San Francisco as being like a groovy kind of a place. It actually was. I mean, people are really cool. I mean, I guess isn't that a cool thing about art? people that that do art that it actually really is like a big loose family. I, I think that's my favorite thing about art, besides um, the rituals and stuff of doing it, um, of, and what that does for like serotonin and the repetitive thing, and um, is like the niceness of meeting people from all over the world. It's a trip to make a painting show. 
everything used to be so sculptural, you know, so hectic and like, it would have been like I came to town and then I was dumpster diving for wood for like a week and a half. And I am gonna keep working on these paintings actually, but it used to be so much more hectic. I just like to do like 16 hour days, but I just decided I'm gonna just try like a different thing just to figure out it. And I guess just to grow, you know, as a person, as, a, as like a, just to not, you know, relying on the past me. Um, but it is kind of nice to not be cutting wood right now. <laughs> it's all basically done. Yeah, it's a trip, right? I mean, I mean, there's just whatever. There's so many ways to to go about it. Maybe that's just, maybe that's getting older, finding an older rhythm or something. I don't know what that is. You seem very calm. I feel very calm, actually. Yeah. I'm, I mean, I'm just, you know, I'm so, st I'm stoked on this, uh, the sky, the sky, yeah, okay. Which one is the rhythms of it are so, it just feels good, that's a peaceful thing to get into. And it's like you can kind of just like paint the bird almost any way at all. You could, it can get super abstract or it just has to be basically the shape of a bird. But then the thing is, is that as soon as you draw in the eye, then you're dealing with like a living creature with like an individual life. And I can really feel it, you know, cruise, cruise into the picture. The blue is supposed to be the vicissitudes. And in this case, it's kind of literally the weather, the different moods of the weather, the temperatures and the, all those things. But it's really to talk about the vicissitudes, the ups and downs and the, the, the psychic states of, uh, of, 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 of living, really. But that's kind of like what all of my art is really about. And in a way, that's pretty self, it's pretty self-involved, but at least other people can relate to that since they're all self-involved too. So. <laughs> that's cool, man. <laughs> I have to do like a couple more colors on here, but I'm not gonna do it right now. I have to add more color here, at least three more colors, but I don't feel like doing it right now. I feel like doing it tomorrow morning. I don't know what colors are gonna be or anything. Yeah. That's, I do that a lot, I like. I'll just leave like that, that eye. I just wanted to make sure I did that eye when I got here. Um, because it creates tension, you know? I have, I have to do, I have to finish these things, but I don't want to do it until like very end. And the same with that. because it's raw canvas, so it has to be right. I mean, it has to, I only have one shot because it's just raw canvas, so it'd be, and so I have to go slow, but I have to be at the last minute. Oh, that's okay. Oh, cool. That's okay. <laughs> yeah. Hey there. Hi. Hi. I'm Andrew. Hi. Nice Hi, to meet Chris. You. Yeah, we're just shooting you. Yes, yeah, thank you. Cool. Show. Sure. I wonder if 
this was shy yet. Was this shy yet? Because uh, there was some stuff on here. Really? Yeah. All right. Uh, what, what kind of stuff? It was like, oh, a, like this. Okay. Yeah, it was like quite big though. We'll take it again. We'll take it again. Okay. Sorry about I'll that. I'll just have a look and see how bad it is. Yeah, I'm, I went around and I checked the other ones. And they're okay, but I'm yeah. I'm sorry about that. No, no, it's, it's fine. Down more, and the, yeah, and then that way, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, there. yeah, yeah. I see that. Oh, we have to remove that. <laughs> we have to remove that. <laughs> it's a trip, man. I pretty much just want to start making really smaller work because that's like the perfect size. I ride my bike to the park, man. And paint? Yeah. Yeah, not with these, but with the, with the ant paintings. I take those with me and just go all around. And you can do it pretty much anywhere. We're just taking the floor. Oh, oh, sorry about that. Oh. Okay. Yeah, just for a quick minute. There's so many of these guys I really love. This guy, he's one of my favorite. I really love her. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, my sleepy pants came on again. <laughs> Yeah. Back. Yeah. If I have painting with blue. I'll go through every painting in the room. With blue? Yeah, with whatever blue. Each blue is only on here once. That blue is only here. And this one's only here. Yeah, some of those blues, they're definitely on here. And a lot of it only maybe the tiniest little part, like right there. This painting is crazy because when it had like half this amount of colors, it looked so done. And then the more colors I added, the less it felt done. So. Did you do all these lips at the same time? Um, yes, on this painting, some of them, but only like a little bit. Because on this painting, I was trying not to do that. But then I went back to it again because it's not, I'm not superstitious, but I just would prefer to just touch a painting with one color at one time. It's just like the way I prefer to, to do it. But you know, sometimes I'll draw people out of magazines. Really? Yeah, but not on these. Okay. But I, I can show you something. It's probably online. I did skateboard graphics for a uh, anti-hero. I wanted to make these boards that were kind of real harsh critique of all the new money in um, San Francisco. So I actually like looked on the internet for people and then I drew them saying really ob obnoxious things like, like <laughs> this guy saying, life's fucking great, man. I just bought, I just bought another building. <laughs> life's fucking great. <laughs> Because there's so many young people there, man, that are just, they're seriously, they're millionaires and they're like 30 years old. <laughs> it's so fucked up. Just like buying everything in sight.
Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. It looks really nice. Yeah, I think it came out all right. 